you're misusing the word ho. <laughs> it's an interjection used to call attention to a destination, not an object, as in a land ho or a westward ho. What you doing? Going out to discover electricity? <laughs> if you're referring to the work of Benjamin Franklin, he did not discover electricity. He merely used a kite to determine that lightning consists of electricity. He also invented the Franklin stove, bifocals, and the flexible urinary catheter. <laughs> kite ho. Hey, Sheldon, what are you doing here? This is a restaurant. It's lunchtime. I would think as a waitress you'd be familiar with the paradigm. Is Leonard coming? No. I believe Leonard is waiting for you to come crawling back to him and apologize. Well, that's not gonna happen. I assume that would be your attitude, hence my true purpose in coming here. Which is? I want you to crawl back to him and apologize. <laughs> I'm busy. Excuse me, miss. I'd like to order lunch. <laughs> Fine. What do you want? I have a few questions. First, I noticed that you offer soup and a half sandwich. Yes. Where exactly does the half sandwich come from? Are you giving me half of someone else's sandwich? Or do I have to wait for someone else in the restaurant to order the other half? No, no, Sheldon, they just make a half sandwich. You can't make a half sandwich. If it's not half of a whole sandwich, it's just a small sandwich. Okay, fine. It's soup and a small sandwich. Is that what you want? No, of course not. I'll have my usual. <laughs> Great. But aren't you going to ask me if I want a beverage? Don't you usually get lemonade? Yes. You want lemonade? Yes. Anything else? Yes, I want you to apologize to Leonard. <laughs> okay, now you gotta help me put these on. All right. But don't look. But don't look? I don't want you to see me naked. Oh, well that's understandable. You may be interested to know that a prohibition against looking is well established in heroic mythology. Lot and his wife, Perseus and Medusa, Orpheus and Eurydice. Yeah, great. They always look, it never ends well. Okay, now you gotta help me get my arm into the sleeve. Okay. Is that my arm? It doesn't feel like an arm. <laughs> and maybe you should let it go. <laughs> All righty. Did Leonard know about this? Leonard's my best friend in the world. Surely Leonard didn't know. Actually, it was his idea. Of course it was. The whole plan reeks of Leonard. Sheldon, you can't train my girlfriend like a lab rat. Actually, it turns out I can. Well, you shouldn't. There's just no pleasing you, is there, Leonard? You weren't happy with my previous approach to dealing with her, so I decided to employ operant conditioning techniques, building on the works of Thorndike and B.F. Skinner. Yet by this time next week, I believe I can have her jumping out of a pool, balancing a beach ball on her nose. No, this has to stop now. I'm not suggesting we really make her jump out of a pool. I thought the bazinga was implied. I'm just tweaking her personality. You're sanding off the rough edges, if you will. No, you're not sanding Penny. Are you saying that I am forbidden from applying a harmless, scientifically valid protocol that will make our lives better? Yes, you're forbidden. Bad, Leonard. <laughs> Explain your sneeze. I'm sorry? Do you have allergies? No. Is there too much pepper on your salad? I don't put pepper on salads. I've heard enough. Sit over there. Come on, I don't want to sit by myself. Uh, that's what Typhoid Mary said, and clearly her friends buckled. <laughs> Guys, help me. Sheldon, come on. Yeah, it's just one sneeze. <laughs> You're on your own. See you, buddy. You're looking for a job. A menial job. Like yours. Why, thank you for noticing. I'm Menial Employee of the Month. Do you have a particular field in mind? I do. For thousands of years, the lowest classes of the human race have spent their lives laboring to erect monuments under the lash of their betters, until finally they dropped down and became one with the dust through which they trudged. <laughs> Do you have anything like that? No. Shouldn't you check your database? 
No. <laughs> People learn at different rates. Unlike objects falling in a vacuum, which... <laughs> M-A equals M-G... Squared? No. Aristotle? No. Five? Oh. Why are you crying? Because I'm stupid! Well, that's no reason to cry. <laughs> no one cries because one is sad. For example, I cry because others are stupid and it makes me sad. Okay, look, can we just please forget about all this extra stuff and can you just tell me what Leonard does? All right. Leonard <sighs> is attempting to learn why subatomic particles move the way they do. Really? That's it? Well, that doesn't sound so complicated. It's not. That's why Leonard does it. <laughs> Sheldon? Yes? Listen, they're kind of getting busy in the living room, and I was wondering if I could hang out in here for a while. Well, I suppose. Come in. I'll sleep in Leonard's room. Good night. I would point out that I am at the top of my profession while you preside over the kitty table of yours. Dr. Cooper, before I find you in contempt and throw you in jail, I'm going to give you a chance to apologize for that last remark. I'm a scientist. I never apologize for the truth. <laughs> That's my spot. <laughs> Let's talk about your grandmother. No. I call no Meemaws. <laughs> Think about this. The only way your mother was born was your Meemaw had sex. <laughs> I don't want to hear this. Then let go of the ring and walk away. Never. <laughs> All right, I'll bet your Mima didn't just have sex to have your mother. I bet she had sex because she liked it. <laughs> stop it. Yeah, Mima did the nasty. I said stop it. <laughs> We're getting to them. Waterfalls. What? Waterfalls. Crashing waves. Babbling brooks. <laughs> What are you doing? Subliminal messaging. I'm going to make you want to pee. <laughs> Dripping faucets. Leaky gutter. <laughs> Peeing. <laughs> it's, it's not working, dude. No. It's working all right. I have to pee. <laughs> then let go of the ring and go. Well, actually, I wouldn't mind going too. <laughs> Fine, um, on the count of three. One. To... Wait, 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 just to clarify, when you get to three, do we stand up or do we pee? <laughs> we stand up. Excellent choice. So, what do you say, Sheldon? Are we your X-Men? No. The X-Men were named for the X and Charles Xavier. Since I am Sheldon Cooper, you will be my C-Men. <laughs> Oh, that's not a good name. Come here. Bazinga. 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 Say hello to your mother for me. Okay. <laughs> what? Said you were going for a walk. I didn't say outside. <laughs> so what, you're just gonna walk up and down the stairs? No, of course not. <laughs> that would be odd and suspicious behavior. Which way are you going? Which way are you going? 
I parked my scooter down the block. I'm going the other way. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Well, actually, I'm this way. <laughs> One question. How can you be sure it won't blow up? The laser? The moon. See, now this is a man for Penny. <laughs> Uh, that's a great question, Zach. No, it's not. Sheldon, play nice. Well, it's not a great question. How could somebody possibly think we're going to blow up the moon? <laughs> that's a great question. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Say hi to your mother when she picks you up. <laughs> or I could just tell her later tonight. <laughs> and the next morning, when he woke up, he rolled over and realized She was his cousin. <laughs> That's still not funny. <laughs> That's still not funny. <laughs> and she was my second cousin. <laughs> and she was my second cousin. <laughs> You're a real douche. Who cares? You slept with your cousin!